Good evening, Sir Matthew. Today, you know, I was so happy to see the sunshine. So many of you that know me very well can say, oh, it's because Carlos is here. No, it's because it's Friday. <laughs> and it's a Friday, but it's okay because Carlos is here after nearly two months in Colombia. And I am so happy, I have to confess. And he's in quarantine, guys. He can't go out until the 1st of February. But thank you. I want to say thank you all of you that have been praying with me about his stay in Colombia was so good for you know his parent and him to be there. So let's start. Today we, we're going to talk about generosity. And we're going to pray for that because it's a good time to think about generosity, to you know, not only receiving but giving, and how to choose the other one better than yourself, your brother, your sister, your, your family. So let's let's start and have that moment with God, call him to be with us. So come Holy Spirit and be with us. Oh God, may I speak to say us. Oh Lord, may haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its sitting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Bless us, you sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and pray forever. You gave you, you Christ as light to the nation. And through the anointing of the spirit, you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvelous light, may our life bear witness to you true. And our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer reads before you, God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our heart and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Today we're going to read Psalm 130. And it's a beautiful psalm. So it's, it's the, the, the beginning of our prayer. And let's read and pray that psalm with all our heart. Out of the death, I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ear be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, Keep the record of sin. Lord, who could stand? But with you, there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. I wait for the Lord. My whole being wait, and in his word, I put my hope. I wait for the Lord. More than watchmen wait for the morning. More than the watchmen wait for the morning. Israel. Put your hope in the Lord. For with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full of redemption. Himself, he redeemed Israel from all the sin. Amen. So beautiful. You know, and this give me some peace when I read that coming from David, King David, and he made so many mistakes. Mistake that maybe we think, oh, how he did that. He is the man of God. He did that. And when I saw him and I, he said that, you know, the Lord don't keep recording of sin. He don't have that. He don't. He don't have recording of, oh, in the year 2001, you lied to me say that. In the year 2015, you did that. No, 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 no. He don't have record, record of our sin. Because, you know, you imagine how we can survive. No, in him, we had for, forgiveness. In him, we have forgiveness. So, you know, we can serve in him with freedom. And I love the one that he say, in him, I wait. In him, I wait. 
And that was a psalm in the morning to Psalm 27, verse 17, isn't it? So I think if you was in the morning with me and now, I had the feeling that God is talking to us to wait, wait in him as the, you know, whole, the, our whole body wait in him. And he say, I put my hope in you. Amen. We, we, we're going, you know, to pray. When we're praying, we're going to pray with us um, because it's amazing. Let's continue last prayer in front of the Lord. Say, so you are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things, and by you will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransom for God saying from every trip and language and nation, you have made them to be king, kingdom and priests serving our Lord and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who he sit in the throne and to the lamb be blessed and honor and glory and mighty forever and ever, amen. You create all things, O God, and are worthy of our prayer forever, amen. Our second reading today eh, may be a little bit long, <laughs> maybe, not that long, but maybe. It's on the 30th uh, verse, but it's a beautiful. I choose Genesis again, because we had our Bible basic and we have been meditated in, in Genesis. And I think it had been, you know, very rich what God had given to us. And I choose today Genesis chapter 13 from verse one to 13. Because I want to talk about when you choose your brother, you know, in a better way than you. You say, okay, take it the best for you. So let's see what God tells us. So Genesis chapter 13 from verse 1 to 13. So Abraham went up from Egypt to the Negev with his wife and everything he had. And Lot went with him. Abraham had become very healthy, livestock and in silver and gold. From the Negev, he went from place to place until he came to Bethel, to the place between Bethel and Eid, where his tent had been earlier, and where he has first building the altar. There Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Now, Lot, who has moving about with Abraham, also has flock and herd and tent, but the land could not support them well, they are staying together, for their possessions were so great that they were not able to stay together. And quarries aroused between Abraham, Heathers, and Lot. The Canaanites and the Persians were also living in the land at the time. So Abraham said to Lot, let's not have any quarreling between you and me, or between you, Heathers, and mine, for we are close relatives. Is not the whole land before you? Let's part company. If you go to the left, I will go to the right. If you go to the right, I will go to the left. A lot, look it around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan towards Soar was well watered, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lord chose for himself the whole plain of Jordan and set our tower the east. The two men parted company. Abraham lived in the land of Canaan, where Lord living among the cities of the plain and wishes he stayed near to Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. So we know the history about Sodom and Gomorrah. So we're not going to talk about that. But we had to talk about decision making here and generosity. So the character of Abraham and Lot come out very clear here in this brief history. They are both substantial figure, you know, in, in our Bible and in our history with lack member, then was really rich, both of them. So when competition coming around and lead to conflict, 
because both of them were so rich. So Abraham, who suggests a peaceful resolution, Abraham said, no, hey, we are family. I am your uncle, you are my nephew, and give Lot the advantage to choosing where he will go. He said to Lot, you choose, choose where you want to go. So he doesn't see his own advantage. And, you know, the older, he had the advantage because he was the older, he was the uncle, he was the one that brought him. He said, no, no, I'm not going to take advantage of that. He really gives a simple, as a good negotiator. You know, he said, no, let's negotiate it in a good league. You choose what you want to do. But Lot choose badly, isn't it? We know that. He saw the grass maybe has been greener. He saw all that pasture, you know, the well water playing. He said, oh, that is my side. Yeah. But the company was far worse. No, he chose the best lamb, the best water lamb, the green one, but he was so near to Sodom. He, he was only thinking about the money, the benefits. He went to live among the people of Sodom and Gomorrah with a tragic consequence. We know that. Abraham went to promised land of Canaan. He decided. It's not really possible to try to, to think about, oh, if the Lord choose differently. But the, the history doesn't remind us something. That history reminds us something, that when you make wrong decision, that wrong action very often has bad consequence. When you choose badly, mm, when you choose a, what is only the best for me, and he didn't think about, oh, uncle, look at that land. Maybe that could be for both of us. Lady divide that. It's a better water here. No, he said, I go on that side. He, he chose because it was better for him. He didn't pray and see that maybe, hey, that city is so close to, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah. He saw the abundance from himself over Abraham and took it. His lack of generosity led to his downfall. And my reflection for today is where and how we made that kind of decision only because it's good for me, only because it's the best for me. And I don't give the opportunity to other people my brother, my sister, my cousin, my neighbor, my community. Only because it's good for me, I don't care. Only because it's good, very green for me. I don't know if you're going to have water for the next 10 years. And it's, it's, you can put that example and everything in our life. Abraham was a generous guy. He said, choose Lot. And when Lot had to choose, he chose badly because he only was thinking about him. God bless both of them in a great way. But the heart of someone that had the heart of God and give for free had the blessing, had the blessing of the God Almighty. And we saw in the end that Lord was ending with nothing because he chose badly and he didn't have the time to think about his uncle. Generosity in our heart is what God called us to do. So we're going to pray today and we're going to pray today. Today we're going to sing in, give thanks to the Lord, but we're going to pray, say, Lord, thank you. And, and asking him to help us to have more, that's heart in, of Abraham, to be generous, to say, no, I don't care, you know, you choose, you better. Choose your brother and sister better. Choose them. So let's pray. Let's pray with our heart. God, help me to know, seek my own advantage at the expense of others. Help me to follow the simple of Christ who emptied himself and took the form of servant. 
Help me to serve my brother and sister more than thinking about me, thinking about what is better for me. So Lord, can to give us life. You were so generous to come from heaven, to live everything and die for us in the cross. You're giving us life. You're giving us opportunities. You're giving us a way to go better and to be close to you, Lord. Lord, so I asking you today to bless us, hold us close to you and teach us how to be generous with our brother and sister, with our community, with our wife and husband, with our cousin, with our parents, to be generous, to let them the best. But Lord, I pray today that we start to think about the people that is not close to us, but need us to be generous. Le learn, Lord, how to take care of everything is important. And we need, Lord, do you teach us how to be generous, to choose better, to choose not only because it's green and nice, but to choose because it's your will. Lord, I ask you to bring us back to you. Bring us back to your presence. Help us this day to live at those you know, people that live closer to you. So we can hear you. We can be with you. Lord, that's evening. I know it's Friday, a long week for so many people working. Lord, I pray that you're giving rest. You're giving blessing. You're anointing us, Lord, with your blessing. But of course, Lord, I ask you that you help us to be a reflective moment to thinking, Lord, how we could be generous to people around us. And especially, Lord, for family. Sometimes we are generous outside of our family, but we are not generous with our family. And I pray today, Lord, that you're giving us sensitive to be generous with our family with the people that we love. Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray. I pray, Lord, that you're giving us you heart and we can face it, Lord. So, Lord, today, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you be with us. We want to say thank you, Lord, with all our heart to you. With all our heart, we thank you, you because you have been giving us everything. In that way, we want to give to our brother and sister, to our community, what you have been giving to us. Oh,
given Jesus Christ, His Son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has want to continue to pray with the Lord prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Giving us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sent us to the nation, give us the power of his spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Send be to God. So, thank you for being here with us and we praying together. And don't forget Psalm 130. Declare that to the Lord today. Waiting, he said, I waiting in you, Lord. I wait for the Lord with all my being. Waiting in him. He had the solution. He had the better. And we have so many sins in our heart, but wait in him. Wait. It's worth it. He is a good God and he's going to do it for us. So have a wonderful evening and wonderful weekend and see you next week. God bless you.